Hello my fellow scratchers, in this video we are going to make a famous Tom and Jerry game in which Tom tries to catch Jerry. So first let's see the game. The objective of this game is to run away from the cat and survive for as long as possible. We control the mouse with our computer mouse and Tom chases us. But when the mouse gets caught by the cat, it says, ha ha ha, I have my lunch. And then it stops the whole program. Now let's get to coding. So this game will be based on two sprites, which is further based on move and point towards blog. Besides this, to make this game interesting, we vary the speed of the game using set blocks. So let's change the title of our program. So I will set the title to Tom and Jerry game. So, we will delete this cat sprite and I will choose a sprite from the scratches library. Now, first I will choose the sprite mouse. And I am going to select this mouse. Now this mouse is too big, so go to the events category and drag the when green flag leaked block into the scripting area. Now go to loose category and drag the set size to block here and set the value to 50. So when we click the green flag, the mouse will reduce its size to 50%. Now let's run our program. As you can see guys, the mouse reduces its size. Now I don't want the mouse to start from here. So now I want the mouse to start from the top right corner of the stage. So to do that, we will go to the motion category and drag the go to XY block here. And set the X value to 200 and the Y value to 120. As you can see guys, the mouse starts from the top right corner of the stage. Now, I want this mouse to follow my computer mouse. So, go to the control category and drag the forever loop here. So, anything uh, inside it will repeat forever. Now, drag an if condition inside the forever loop. Now go to the operators category and drag a not block here. Now go to the sensing category and drag a touching block inside the not condition. And select the option mouse pointer. So this means that if this mouse is not touching our computer mouse, then anything inside it will run. Now go to the motion category and drag the point towards block here and select the option mouse pointer. Now I want it to move 5 steps when I click the mouse button. So drag and move steps block here. Now go to the operators category and drag a multiply by block here and set the value in this space to 5. Now Go to the sensing category and drag the mouse down block here. The mouse down block means when I click the mouse button. Let me show you why did I put this if statement. So we'll just remove it for now. So guys, let's now program. As you can see guys, the mouse follows our mouse pointer, but here is the problem. When I stop my mouse and it touches the mouse, then it glitches like this. So to stop that, I will drag this if condition here. As you can see guys, the mouse is still moving, but when I stop my mouse, the mouse also stops and it touches my computer mouse. So if the mouse is not touching the mouse pointer, 
then it will point towards the mouse pointer and then if you left click the mouse it will move five steps towards my mouse pointer now guys let's have a look at the cat sprite so there is already a cat in the scratch library so i will click this button and search here cat and i will select this cat because we are looking from above now this is this cat is also big so let's shrink it so we will go to the events category and drag the when green flag click block here now go to the looks category and drag and si set size to block here and set the value to 60 so our cat cat will be slightly bigger than the mouse now let's show our program as you can see guys the cat sets its size to 60 percent now i want the cat to start from the bottom left corner of the stage so go to the motion category and drag and go to x5 block here and set the x value to minus 200 and the y value to minus 120 now let's run our program as you can see guys the cat starts from the bottom right corner of the stage now i want the cat to follow the mouse so go to the control category and drag and forever loop here so anything inside it will repeat forever now drag and repeat and the loop inside the forever loop Now go to the sensing category and drag and touching block inside the repeat until and select the option mouse one which is the mouse sprite not my mouse pointer. Now go to the motion category and drag and move block inside the repeat until loop and set the value to 3. Now drag and point towards block inside the repeat until loop and select the option mouse 1. So it will repeat until it touches the mouse sprite and inside the repeat until loop point towards the mouse 1 and move towards it 3 steps. So the cat sprite will point towards the mouse and, and the cat sprite will move 3 steps towards the mouse sprite. And it will do this process until it touches this mouse sprite. Now let's run our program. As you can see guys, the cat follows the mouse sprite. And soon as it touches the mouse, it stops. To make the program interesting, let's increase the cat speed if the mouse sprite doesn't move. Besides, it will increase in normal speed every 4 seconds. So first, we will figure out that the mouse sprite is moving or not. So delete everything inside the repeat until loop. And we will create two variables. And delete this my variable. So first variable we will name mouse x store. So this variable we will use to so store the x position of the mouse sprite. And create a new variable named mouse y store. So this variable will store the y position of the mouse sprite. Now we will set the mouse x store to the x position of mouse 1. And same for the mouse y store but instead we will store the y position of the mouse one sprite now go to the control category and drag and wait seconds block here 
and instead of putting the value 0 I will put the very small values so I will enter the value 0 0.0000001 I have entered this value because of a scratch bug we want to check that a mouse is moving or not so we will go to the control category and drag an if then else block here now drag an and condition inside the if then now drag an equals to condition here and if the mouse x store variable is equal to the x position of the mouse and the mouse y store is equal to the y position of mouse mouse one sprite so this means that a mouse sprite is not moving i need the cat sprite to move exponentially so we will create two new variables named tom exponential speed now we will set the tom exponential speed variable initially to zero and we will move tom exponential speed inside the if statement and as always it will point towards mouse one sprite now we will drag another if statement inside the if condition so go to the control category and drag an if then block here tom exponential speed is less than then it will change the tom exponential speed variable by 1 so the max speed of the cat will be 10 pixels per second if the cat speed is less than 10 then it will change the tom exponential speed variable by 1 which means that it will speed its speed will get increased now in the else statement we will set the term exponential speed variable to zero now we want here to move it normally so we will create a new variable named term time based speed And I will initially set it to 2, 0. Now we will move Tishan. And as always, it will point towards the mouse one sprite. So, if the mouse is not moving, then the cat sprite will move exponentially else it will move in normal speed now guys let's run our program as you can see guys when i move the mouse sprite the cat moves slower and when i stop the sprite the cat moves faster now we want this whole program to stop when the cat catches the mouse sprite so we will go to the mouse one sprite and drag an if then else condition inside the forever loop and drag this whole thing inside the if statement now go to the operators category and drag a not block here now go to the sensing category and drag a touching block here and set the option to cat so this so this part will only run when it touches the cat sprite else it will broadcast a new message and wait and the new message will be ha 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 i have my lunch
Now go to the cat to sprite. And dragon when I receive block here. Now go to the loose category. And dragon say block here. And set the text to ha ha I have my lunch. Now I want the whole program to stop. So we will go to the control category and drag and stop block here and select the option to all. So when it receives this message it will say this and then it will stop the whole program. Now I want the cat to increase its normal speed every 4 seconds. So go to the events category and drag and when green flag click block here. Now go to the control category and drag and forever loop here. Now inside the forever loop we will wait for 4 seconds. And then change the tom time base speed variable by 1. Now we will set the value here to 0 0.5. So, after every 4 seconds, it will change the term normal speed by 0 0.5. Now, let's run our program. As you can see guys, the cat changes the mouse. And when I stop the mouse, it moves exponentially. And it increases its speed after every 4 seconds. As you can see guys, it gets faster. Now when I lose, it says, ha ha ha, I have my lunch and stops the whole program. Now, let's hide these two variables. As you can see guys, this is the end of the Tom and Jerry game. And as always, thank you so much for watching my video. If you want to learn about how to create a dice interesting game, which is basically based on random number generation, then check out my video of Scratch Dice Game. The link of this video is in the description below. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys and take care.